hello from Melbourne at the Australian Open. I'm Carrie Fearman here with Joel Drucker, and today we are talking Novak Djokovic. So he didn't quite have the triumphant return that Roger Federer did after his break. Both very similar stories as Novak's last tournament was Wimbledon. The year before Federer's last tournament was Wimbledon as well. However, Djokovic didn't come back and win the title. What do you think happened here? Well, the six-time champion in Australia, Novak Djokovic, had high hopes for doing well here, of course. Uh, he so loves this event, and yet um, I don't think his health was there. Clearly, the elbow was bothering him. It was bothering him before. It forced him to change his service motion to serve the most important shot in the game, and he didn't quite have ownership of that, and that made it hard for him to start the points, and then the pain of the elbow. So I think a few things kind of cascaded to make it difficult for him, and I'm sure those are some things he's going to be discussing at length with his coaches, Radek Stepanek and Andre Agassi. Yeah, and another thing that Agassi has said, and Djokovic has said it himself, is that his mental state is something that's very, very important. Obviously, that is an important element to tennis in general, and it's something that Djokovic has struggled with. So I know that that's something that they're most likely going to be working on. What else do you think Agassi and Stepanek and Novak are going to be discussing to kind of like reevaluate what happened here at the Australian Open moving forward? Well, if I know Agassi, well, I think they're going to be more looking ahead because that's Agassi's not going to so much want to look backwards as much as, okay, what do we do to get things going right in the future? Let's really first, let's get a read on this whole service motion thing. Let's also look at maybe the um, some of the tactics. Maybe Novak improves some of his volley technique. Maybe he looks to charge forward a few more times in matches, maybe. But most of all, I think it's the health. Most of all, it's like, are you fit? Are you ready? Are you pain-free? That's the big X factor for Novak. Well, one thing that we do know for sure about Novak is that his kind of personality, he's definitely sitting down with himself and his team and making sure that they figure out what exactly it is to reevaluate and turn things around. I'm Carrie Fearman here with Joel Drucker, and that is The Daily Mix.